Santa's reindeer typically eat regular reindeer food. But they need a lot of magical energy to deliver presents on Christmas. For that, their favorite snack is a special type of star fruit that only grows deep in the jungle. The elves have brought you on their annual expedition to the grove where the fruit grows. The jungle is overgrown and difficult to navigate in vehicles or access from the air. This means the elves' expedition traditionally goes on foot. As your boats approach land, the elves begin taking inventory of their supplies. One important consideration is food. In particular, the number of calories each elf is carrying. The elves take turns writing down the number of calories contained by the various meals, snacks, rations, etc. that they've brought with them, one item per line. In the event an elf gets hungry and needs extra snacks, they need to know which elf to ask. Find the elf carrying the most calories and report how many calories that elf is carrying. Happy December, everybody. This is Captain Coder and we are talking about day one of the advent of code for 2022. As you heard, we have some elves who are going to be hungry, but luckily for them, they have tons of calories for their expedition. And we're gonna write a program for them that's gonna tell them who has the most calories. To be able to start a program like this, the first thing we need to do is understand what the input's gonna be and what we need to calculate. So in this particular puzzle, we are gonna get a text file that contains lines that are either an integer representing a snack, the calories in a snack, or a blank line representing the end of an individual elf's inventory. All right, so the first thing we need to do with this type of puzzle, come up with a strategy. We know we're gonna have to go through every single line in this file and pull this information out. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is write code that reads this file and identifies each line as either an integer or a blank space. You might do this in any number of ways, but this is the first thing you wanna do. So let's create a test file to do this with. You could scroll down and get your puzzle input. So if I get my puzzle input here, but this is a giant file. This one's a giant file. So we're not gonna start with this giant file. We wanna start with a simpler piece of code, a simpler input so we can sort of figure out whether or not give ourselves confidence that it's gonna work with that before we pass in the big input. So we're gonna go ahead and still this example. We're gonna create a file in our workspace called sample, just like this. And this is gonna allow us to start building up our program. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is build a program that iterates through each line in this file. So you have to figure out how to load that file in, iterate through each line, and then within that iteration, identify whether you have an integer or a blank line. At this point, you should have a program that iterates through each line in your text file and identifies whether or not it's an integer or a blank line. You could do this with any kind of loop or in functional program, you might have a higher order function that does this. If you haven't completed this yet, you should go ahead and pause, see if you can come to a solution, and then I'm gonna show you mine. So here we are with my solution. I have I have a line here that's reading in my sample.txt and breaking it into an array of strings. So I have an array uh, and a single array that contains all of the lines. Then I'm using a for each loop to iterate through each one of those lines and look at them one at a time. Inside of my loop, I have an if that's saying if the string is empty, so if it's a blank line, we're just gonna print blank for now. Else, we know that it is an integer, so we're gonna go ahead and convert that string into an integer and display it. And when I run it, I essentially get the same output that was in my file. Now we're making progress. So what's the next step? 
The next step is going to be adding, summing each one of these integers together rather than individually storing it this way. Then in your if statement, the one that determines when you've reached a blank line, instead of printing blank, see if you can print the sum. If all went well, you should have a program that looks similar to this. Each of my lines either prints out the original number from my text file, or when I'd have a blank, I display the total for the sum of the numbers that appear above it. So in this case, I get 6,000, 4,000, 11,000, 24,000. There's one little bug here though, and you might have this as well. At the end of my iteration, there's no blank line at the end of my file. So my if statement doesn't trigger here. So I have to add something extra to my program. If you have this bug, go ahead and fix it, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix it in mine. If you don't wanna see my solution just yet, go ahead and pause and see if you can fix it yourself. So here's my program. I've declared a sum value, an integer to keep track of the sum of the current elf on the outside of my loop. Then inside, if I've reached a blank line, I display the total showing the sum, and then I have to reset the sum back to zero for the next elf. In the else part, I simply increase my sum value by the calorie item and then display that amount as well. And the last thing I need to do to be able to get the final elves total, is I simply put this print statement, this right line at the end of my loop to show what sum is at the very, very end. All right, if you've made it this far, you're almost to the end of this challenge. The last thing you need to do is figure out which of these groups of integers is the largest sum. To do this, you're going to have to create a variable to track the maximum value found thus far. And then in your section where you separate your elves, you're going to have to do a check to see whether or not that value should be updated. Go ahead and give it a try now. If all has gone well, you should have a program now that reports the maximum calorie value found. And if you're using the sample input given by the problem description, we know that it is in fact 24,000. And that's what mine is producing here. I'm about to show the solution. So if you need to go ahead and pause. All right, so here we are. I've added a variable prior to my iteration called max so far. And each time, well, first of all, I set it to zero to begin with because I know from the problem statement that the calories are going to be positive. Actually, I don't know if it's going to be that way, but I made that assumption. So the smallest calorie value should be zero. For safety, you might choose to make it the smallest integer value. So int dot min value, it's going to be negative some value, but I think safely you can use zero. Then, I added a single line of code here that each time before I reset my sum, I check to see if max so far is still greater than sum. So I take the max of max so far or sum and reassign that to my max so far variable. I have to do that one more time at the very end of my loop here, just to make sure that if the last elf has too much or has more than everyone so far, that it reports that. And finally, I report my max so far. All right. I hope that helped you out. When you're ready, you can download your puzzle input, feed it into your program, and post your solution. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll continue your coding journey into the future. Continue learning, continue coding, continue growing as a person. And as always, have a beautiful day. You're welcome back anytime.